and welcome to a birthday edition of Jack Rigo Productions. Today is Matthew Rigo's 15th birthday. Happy birthday, Matthew. Thank you, Jack. Okay, so we're going to pick four games today, and tell me what you got for the first game. First, we have Seattle as a pick 'em versus the New York Jets. I think, I think that's, I think that Seattle will win because they have Christian Michael running the ball and Russell Wilson passing, and the Jets have bad turnovers. So I think the Jets will the Jets will lose this one, 23 to 24. Go ahead. Next game. Next game we have is the New England Patriots favored by three and a half over the Buffalo Bills. Even though Buffalo did look good last week against a good Cars Arizona. Arizona team, I think that they'll struggle against his Patriots defense. And the Patriots are going to run the ball very good because they have LeGarrette Blunt and Brissett if he can run well. So I have this game 24 to 20 for the Patriots winning. Okay, third game. Third game we have the Denver Broncos favored by two and a half at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I have Denver winning this one 35 to 10 because... 35 to 10, thank you, I like that. Because Simeon can pass the ball, Anderson can run the ball, and Sanders can catch the ball. Did well last week. Okay. And, 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 uh, and finally, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers at home, at home favored by five and a half over the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay, what do you got? I have the Can I have Kansas City pulling in a fight, but I think that Pittsburgh's going to win this one because they have Antonio Brown as the receiver, Le'Veon getting Le'Veon Bell off of suspension, and Marcus Wheaton playing good. So now, I think I'm going to pick this one 27 to 20. Right okay. There. All right, Matthew. All right, thank you very much for Matthew's portion of Jack Rigo Productions. In just one moment, we will be switching over to Jack. Now it is time for Jack's proportions. Hello, everybody. I'm going to give you my picks for this week. The first game I have is the Seattle Seahawks, favored by half a point over the New York Jets. Um, I really like Seattle in this game because, obviously, I think they're a better team than the Jets. The Jets have caused many turnovers. Last week, nine turnovers against the Chiefs, which is pretty awful. Um, they have decent offense with Fitzpatrick and Brandon Marshall and Matt Forte and Eric Decker. But I think Seattle overall has a better defense with the Legion of Boom, with Richard Shervin, Earl Thomas, and uh, Cam Chancellor. I always mix those guys up. Um, Seattle's offense has Russell Wilson with Doug Baldwin, Christian Michael. I think their offense is too much with their ability to move the ball down the field. 24-17 uh, Seattle. Next game is the game here. New England Patriots are favored by three and a half points against the Buffalo Bills in Foxborough. We just got word a little while ago uh, Jacoby Brissett will be starting this game because uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is still not healthy with that shoulder injury. And Brady's suspended. Brady will be playing next week. It'll be Cleveland by 40 points probably. Anyways, back to this game. I think Brissett will still get the job done because Buffalo's history in New England is atrocious. I think they're 2-10 in their last 12 games. And one of the games they won is a throwaway game where the Patriots had lied down in Week 17 and didn't care who won. Um, I think uh, Buffalo will do a little bit better than they've done in recent memory. I think they'll score like 14 to 17 points. And the Patriots with Gronk... Um, Julian Edelman, Amendola will be able to score 28 points. We'll say 28 to 17. All right, next game, game that I'm interested in. The Denver Broncos are favored by two and a half over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay has had their problems with turnovers as well. Jameis Winston has thrown some interceptions recently and played very poorly at Arizona and at home against the LA Rams last week. I know they have pretty good receivers in uh, Vincent Jackson and Mike Evans. But I think that the Broncos have too much offense for them, especially the way they played last week. Trevor Simeon did a good job. I like the Broncos to win this game 28-14, to with C.J. Anderson contributed well out of the backfield. Last game we have is the Pittsburgh Steelers, favored by 5.5 points over my second favorite team, the KC Chiefs. Not. I don't like the Chiefs. I think they're so overrated. Anyways, um... I think Pittsburgh will have too much offense in this game because they're playing at home at Heinz Field. Roethlisberger tends to play better in Heinz Field. He's got Antonio Brown. Uh, I don't think Wheaton is back, Matthew. There's another receiver. I always forget his name. Coates. Coates. Um, and they seem to move the ball well. They have Le'Veon Bell back. Um, I like their offense. Um, the Carolina running back who used to be there as a backup. I don't remember his name, Matthew. D'Angelo Williams. D'Angelo Williams is a good player as well for Pittsburgh. 
Casey, even though Alex Smith has done well at times, he doesn't turn the ball over. He throws the ball short a lot, and I think that leaves uh, not the best way to move the ball, especially on the road. Uh, they have Jamal Charles, fantastic running back. But in the end, I like Pittsburgh to win this game 31-17. to All right, thank you for watching this In the Car edition and the birthday edition of Jack Regal Productions. Hope you all have a wonderful day and you get your picks correct. This video has been made by Jack Rico Productions. Has made my, has been made by Jack Rico Productions. No copyright should be made in this video.